What is up, fellas? We're back at the uh, Badlands, and check it out. There's my dad on uh, his new Honda, new to him. Thing's an absolute beast. I'm excited to see what how my dad does. He has ridden motorcycles and stuff, knows what he's doing a bit, but not that experience on dirt bikes, so it's just basically a, a trial session for him to try to get used to this thing. I rode the Honda a little bit already, and I have to say the, the amount of power that comes out of those things is amazing. I mean, it's so different than this because it just gives you immediate just like, I don't know, it's not torque, it's horsepower, so it's so much different. And it'll just absolutely eat a hole into the ground underneath you. Well, let's follow him around a little bit and see how he does. Gonna be real exciting to watch. <laughs> The biggest thing that I learned riding that, riding that thing is how heavy this bike actually is. I mean, at 320 pounds that this thing is versus 250 for that, it just like really boggled my mind as to how much weight I'm pushing around with this thing all the time. Like I've gotten comments from people a lot about my heavy breathing with this thing and it's probably because of the fact that I'm pushing around so much freaking weight. I guess we're going up the hills. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Getting after it. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is more like it. I'm gonna try to take him easy ways so he doesn't get stuck in something stupid. So, the impressions of this thing, <laughs> especially coming right off of that bike, feels so weird. This thing feels like a little tiny toy that wants to kill you. <laughs> I mean, I love it, but at the same time, it feels so weird because it's so light. So light and so powerful that it just feels so strange. Feels very unsettled and unsettling. I'm gonna get lost. Cause I'm not even thinking about anything but trying to control the mayhem that is beneath me. <laughs> okay. So this is a CRF 250. CRF 250R, whatever. Motocross bike. So this thing is extremely light, like 250 pounds. Extremely powerful. Don't know what the power is on it. 
So it just wants to go for everything. Like I gave it like quarter throttle right there and it felt like the bike was whining at me because it didn't want, it wanted to do more. Cool thing is, I feel like I can put it anywhere. I just noticed I need higher bars on this. Really want higher bars if I were riding this. It is so thrilling, but also very weird. My hands feel worn out from this thing. Oh. I feel like I'm riding like an aggressive piece of farm equipment. So aggressive, so aggressive. Here's the thing, I'm not able to ride this bike as aggressively as I can my bike. I mean, it's like I can ride it aggressive, but to ride it well and to not put it into a tree. I understand why my dad said he's exhausted. <laughs> okay, that's cool. Okay. Oh. Feel exhausted. What the heck? That was fun, but I want my bike back. <laughs> so the verdict is, I like that bike a lot better. Yeah. So yeah, what what conclusion have we come to today? Is a DRZ better than a motocross bike? Yeah, for the woods. I would say all day. One thing that I wish this had in comparison to that is the ability to jump over stuff with absolute ease. Look at these deer. Oh, hello deer. Oh, there's so many of them. There he goes. The man, the myth, the legend. 